the latest, most sought after guitar pedal in the entire world. There's no hype about this, is there? Thanks to a video somebody else did, a guy with far too many pedals, this thing seems to be really, really hyped at the minute. He's compared it to a clone, to a Zen drive, all sorts of things, and this has come out as, as indistinguishable in his tests from all of them. And yeah, it is versatile, it's a great little pedal. I didn't pay much for mine, but let's see what it can do. It's a fairly informal video, I'm just gonna mess about and I'm gonna show you some bits and pieces. We're gonna start off with it on a cleanish sound, and then we're gonna do what you should be doing with overdrive and adding it to an already slightly grungy channel. At the end of the video, I'm gonna give you an amazing opportunity to do with the bad monkey. So stick around, I'm going to ask you some questions about it. If you get all three questions right, you get the amazing opportunity to win. We'll start with my clean signal. I've got a clean amp at the minute. It's just a neck single coil into the clean amp and nothing else. A little bit of reverb, delay, that kind of thing, but otherwise nothing. Two inside coils. Neck humbugger. Bridge humbugger. So there's all the reference tones. We're going to start off with everything straight up the middle and nothing else. That's all we're going to do. Okay, so let's engage the monkey. And our next single coil now sounds like this. Now you're probably thinking, I'm expecting this bad monkey to sound amazing, and that sounds like ass, because I think that sounds like ass. Now, what I do to get this thing to sound better, look, you've got a low and a high gain control. What I like to do is to turn those, gain, those EQs up. And you can hear there's a bit of noise, that's normal, remember I am on a single coil, there's humbugger, so it's not the monkey, it's the single coil as much as anything else, but listen to the difference, okay? Show you again, this is with the EQs flat-ish. I think it's a bit lifeless, but if I crank them up, you get... that which is great bridge and middles takes you straight into the kind of territory all that kind of thing then neck humbugger that kind of thing on your bridge. Okay, so that's part of the magic. The next step, remember we're still on that clean sound. I'm gonna take that level, I'm gonna push the level up to three quarters. And it starts to smooth out a little bit, okay? And if, you, if you're after high gain stuff or higher gain stuff or that big lead boost, stick around because I'm going to show you a really good trick in a minute. But in the meantime, look, let's lift the gain quite a bit. And we'll lift the level as well, why not? And I'm now at... Neck. Bridge and middle. Neck, single coil. Okay, so that's step one with it, using it over a clean amp or a very nearly clean amp, and that's what you get. However, if I take my amp and instead of a clean amp, I want that gain up a bit. 
Let's not go mad. I'm only going to put a little bit more gain on it. So I'm now at this. This is my amp. This is the amp. It's sort of classic rock. Neck. Bridge and middle. Neck, hum uh, neck single coil. Now, let's go back to in the middle and engage the monkey, and we get... That sort of mid hoppy I don't like that. Still think it sounds like ass. So I'm going to crank those EQs, roughly. Let's just take them all away. And we get that neck pickup. Not bad. Uh, next single. However, this is what I like. If you take the level and you lift the level. Now, let's crank the gain three quarters of the way up. Gain off, level up. And let's just crank everything. That is how bad the Bad Monkey can be. So that's the Bad Monkey. It's a really versatile pedal. It is a bit of a Swiss army knife because it's got these EQs there that do a little bit more than, for instance, a Tube Screamer would do. So you get a lot more versatility out of it. If you check my other video out somewhere up there that compares this to the Tube Screamer, you'll see the differences and how this can do a good job of being a Tube Screamer, but can do a lot more. Now, there are three questions that you need to answer in order to win this amazing opportunity. If you can tell me the answer to these three questions, then I am prepared to sell you my bad monkey for only 1,000 English pounds. How's that for a bargain? So it's great for, for muckying up a too clean a channel. It's also great for pushing a crunchy channel into, into big overdrive or big lead. So really what you can do is you can take a master volume amp, turn your volume pot down to make it clean, bring it up to give it your crunch, and add the bad monkey to give you your lead sound. Proper old school stuff. I hope you loved the video. Don't forget to subscribe and tell me in the comments below what you think of the bad monkey. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.